Hi guys, it's Poonam here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys this new product by L'Oreal. Um, and it is the L'Oreal Paris Skin Paradise Tinted Glow Cream Moisturizer. So I picked this up from Boots when I was in there. It was kind of like an impromptu kind of purchase. Um, and I'm not really used to doing that. I tend to sort of like research things really thoroughly, watch YouTube reviews, things like that before I actually buy something. But I needed something for work and I just wanted something that was light wearing, something that's hydrating, just something to make me look a little bit less dead basically. So I saw this and I thought, oh, you know what? Let me give it a go. So I'm gonna do a first impressions with you guys. I've not tried it yet, so hopefully um, this works out. So I'll tell you guys a bit about it from the description on the Boots website. So it's £10.99 um, and I purchased this, this at full price and I got the shade Light 2. It says it's formulated with 70% serum and enriched with a cocktail of aloe vera, ginger and witch hazel. It, it leaves you with that please can I have what she's having skin glow. Both makeup fanatics and bare skin enthusiasts will fall in love with the lightweight texture that quenches skin with up to 24 hours hydration and evens out skin tone with a perfectly healthy looking glow. Okay, now that sounds pretty great. And it says, what's more, with a tw SPF 20 UVA slash UVB and antioxidant action it helps protect against environmental aggressors such as pollution. So that sounds pretty pretty appealing um, i definitely like the idea of 24 hour hydration i love that it's got that added spf in there as well i wouldn't just use this as my spf factor um, i would put a sunscreen on probably an spf 50 with uva and uvb protection on before putting this on um, but just having that added bonus um, i think is definitely a good thing it says how to use add as you would do your moisturizer onto clean skin or over primer using your fingertips sponge or a brush i probably just apply this using a brush as i you know apply all my sort of um bb creams and things like that so i'll probably just use a brush for this i mean it also says this really bizarre thing on the website it says as makeup artist pro tip go a shade darker than your natural skin tone for a just back from holiday faux glow um no i don't know why anyone would do that um why would you want your face just like that little bit darker than the rest of your body i just that doesn't make any sense to me unless it's that sheer that it doesn't really add much color that it just kind of makes your complexion look a little bit warmer that's the only way i can sort of imagine it would make sense what they're trying to say so i did have a quick peek at the ingredient list obviously it does have perfume in it um which is a bit of a disappointment but i guess because i'd have already my moisturizer layer on um my sunscreen layer on it hopefully wouldn't cause any irritation to my actual skin because it's kind of like you know protected um initially so that's not too bad the sunscreen factor that it has in there, from what I can see, is titanium dioxide, which is a mineral sunscreen. Um, and mineral sunscreens are fantastic for sensitive skin types, so definitely a thumbs up for that one. Um, it's also got sodium hyaluronate in there, which again, I think is possibly part of the whole hydration thing. Um, sodium hyaluronate is another form of hyaluronic acid um, and it is good for um, holding moisture on the skin, basically. It's got glycerin in there as well. Again, another hydrating, moisturizing factor. Um, and of course, it's got the aloe in there, the witch hazel and the ginger as well. Um, it's also got a couple of other sort of fragrant ingredients in there, such as uh, limonene and citronellol. I think that's how you pronounce it, but they are obviously um, fragrant ingredients, um, which is gonna be irritating for the skin. So I'm not really, you know, that impressed by that to be fair, but as I say, it's got a couple of great things in there and I'm really excited to try this. So let's just try it, let's just get into it. So I'm just gonna give it a shake. Oh, there's everything. The camera's shaking. So let's just hope I picked the right shade. I literally just did a bit of a swatch in store. And this looks the closest to me, to be honest. Light 02. Um, so that's what the colour looks like. So I'll just um, spread it out a little bit. It's darker than my hand, but my hand is lighter than my, my actual face. Um, so mm, not too sure about that color yet. And I'm just gonna use this brush here um, and it's the 200 brush by Real Techniques. 
I quite like their brushes. I think they're quite good. I've also got this one here, which is one of my favourite brushes. It's a bit gross, so sorry about that. Um, which is this one here, and it's from Primark. It's like a £2.50 brush, buffing and blending brush. And I just really like to buff products into my skin. I know that's not really the greatest thing for, um, you know, if you've got texture on the skin, but I just really like that sort of look where it just looks like there's not much on the skin. So um, I'm going to go with this brush first, I think. Another shake. Okay, so I've just got about that much on the brush. And I'm just going to dot it around. And then I'm just going to sort of spread it. You can definitely smell that fragrance. It's not a bad colour match. It's a little bit, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, I'd probably say. It's a little bit darker than um, I expected it to be. Um, it's not really covering anything. I'm just gonna go in with this as well um, and try and do it like a second layer with this brush. This is my favorite brush. So let's just try that. Just dot it about, see if it covers up anything. And I'll go down onto my neck, I think, as well. Actually, it's not bad. It's a bit nicer with this brush. Um, I think it sort of gets into the nooks and crannies a little bit more as opposed to just sort of sitting on top of the face. Um, this looks a little bit nicer. And actually, now that it's sort of buffed in a little bit more, the colour looks not too bad, actually, against my skin. It's not bad. It's definitely light. I'd probably say it's like a light coverage. Um, it's not really covering anything up. My redness has gone down a little bit here that I've kind of got on the cheek area. So I'd probably say like it's a light to medium kind of coverage. So yeah, I mean, I actually quite like this. It is a slightly bit darker than my skin tone, but it is actually giving me a little bit of a healthier glow. Um, and I think that's because I'm quite pasty as a person, if I'm honest. This is looking really nice. It is slightly dewy. I think it would look really great, um, you know, once the rest of my makeup is done. So I'm just going to like powder it down a little bit just to get rid of some of that excess shine. And I think that might help with the way it looks. So I'm not going to show you my powder because it's just falling apart. And it's just a mess. Um, but it's basically this one here, the transparent one by L'Oreal. Um, the lid is like cracked, it's broken, but this powder, oh my god, I just love it so much. So I'm just going to take a bit off, whack a bit of the excess off, and just pat that down. I just like to sort of pat the powder on. See, I really like that, I think that looks really nice. Oh, I'm so happy. This is exactly what I wanted. First impressions of this is good. Um, I like to see how it actually wears. And I'll probably post an update about this on my Sensitive Sister account on Instagram. So um, make sure to follow me on there if you want to know how I get on with this in the next couple of weeks. But I really hope that you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like uh, the video and follow me for more. And I'll catch you next time. See ya!